Join me every day for Beijing today and see the tears, the joy, the medals, the unique insights and analysis from the Cube. All you need to really feel the Olympic winter. Four years on from Pyeongchang and just six months after Tokyo, Beijing becomes the first city ever to host both the Summer and Winter Games. Over the next 16 days, roughly 3,000 athletes will be competing in 109 events across 15 different sports. And it's all live and on demand on Eurosport and Discovery+. Plus. Now, I'm delighted to say that joining me here in the Cube are Billy Morgan, bronze medalist. Um, brilliant to have you both here. Brilliant to have you as part of our team, actually. Really looking forward to the next few days. Billy, look, you guys compete as athletes in, you know, all year round, in all manner of competitions. But the Olympics, that's something special, isn't it? Yeah. Didn't you? How was that feeling? It was, yeah, it was incredible. Un unbeatable experience. I'd love to relive it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And look, we are living in difficult times, but, you know, against all the odds, the games are here now. We've seen other competitions take place. I mean, you know, we're taking lateral flow tests every day to make sure that we can come into work. For mm. an athlete, that is... An... <laughs> and so that must be really, really hard for them, but they've got to have the confidence, stay confident and have that, you know, the team... We are going to see some incredible sport over the next couple of weeks. Billy, what are you most looking forward to seeing? I think I'm looking forward to seeing the, the, the progression that's been going on recently in, in snow. have a couple of British medalists here. Let's take a look at the best hopes for British medals then over the next couple of weeks. We're always going to be biased, aren't we, wanting the Brits to win the medals. How are you assessing their hopes in your sport in skeleton? In skeleton. And it's put down some solid top ten finishes. And then we have, from four years yeah. ago, she hasn't quite had the performance that she may have hoped, but she can really perform when it matters uh, four years' time. So, you know, it's a great experience for her too. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of the girls, there are a few in your sport as well. Katie Omrod, she'll be hoping to... ...riding on form and she's a very consistent rider, so I'm really looking forward to so... it. Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> Charlotte Banks, she took the, the mode. Yeah, absolutely. And what about Dave riding? Mm. Come on, he will still be pumped from that victory in kids. Knowing that you're in that form. So good luck to him. Yeah, he's on that peak. He's on that straight, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, let's hope. Fingers crossed. Of course, the mixed doubles curling team have already got off to a good start. That all got underway from Wednesday and they have won three of their first four matches, so fingers crossed for them. Now, well, as we were just saying, on the back of his success in Kitzbühel, Dave Riding was picked as one of the flag bearers to lead out Team GB in Beijing, and he will be alongside the 2014 bronze medalist in the curling, Eve Muirhead, and they have both been catching up with Radzi. Thank you very much, Radzi, Dave and Eve, of course. Now, I've got to ask you, because you two know what it's like to be flag. Yeah, I definitely wasn't expecting it, you know, when they, they came and asked me to, to carry the flag. When did you find out? The day before. Right. I mean, they look a bit heavy, I've got to say. <laughs> <laughs> what are they like, actually? It's, just... it's your other teammates that have voted you to hold it. And I remember... Yeah, yeah but, you know, you're waving it. It's your Union Jack and you just have that moment of, like, wow, I'm doing this for my country, for Great Britain. Yeah, it is incredible, isn't it? Where well, we are not far away. A little under 20 minutes, in fact, and we are getting ever closer to the start of the 24th. Welcome back to theCUBE as we get ever closer to the start of the opening ceremony, which is just 15 minutes away now. You can see the scenes over there in Beijing. Of course, across the next 16 days, there'll be 109 events within 15 different sports. And here is how you can stay in touch with every single one of them. Yeah, we can't wait to have you with us for the duration of the Games. Let's take you inside the Bird's Nest Stadium now because our reporter Monica Kodreska is there for us. Monica, what thank you very much for expecting it to be absolutely spectacular, nothing less, of course. Now, one of the most successful ever Winter Olympians is, of course, the halfpipe superstar Sean White. And Greg and Billy have been in our very own halfpipe Take a look at the cube. Take a look at what we can do. Our studio is excellent. They've been analysing, using this state-of-the-art technology, exactly how he took gold four years ago. Yeah, we absolutely will be, and we know, as we were hearing there, Sean White is one of the megastars of these games. Who else are you looking forward to seeing? I'm actually looking forward to watching Chloe Kim four years ago in Pyeongchang. And as openly said, she's really struggled with the attention that that brought and even actually threw away her medal at one point. But she's got new tricks, she's at peace, she's reigning, reigning world champion, so she's got a great chance. And then Michaela Schifrin, yet another actually American <laughs> alpine skier, she also has two gold medals to her name. And if she brings home one more for America, she will be the most decorated skier of all time. So I think that's super exciting. 
Isn't that just? And, I mean, it's interesting you mentioned Chloe Kim throwing away her medal. It does bring a level of attention that some people don't actually want, but it does change your life, doesn't it? Oh, bring in home any medal does change your life. You're and it's magical. It. I want one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, you know what? We are just moments away.